Hey guys, Bass Shocker Bassin here, and here's my new to me boat. It's a Bass Cat Pantera 2. Um, this boat, I restored it, or restoration, you should say. I pretty much put everything that could be done to it. I did it. Uh, new motor, new carpet, new batteries, new plumbing, new controls, new steering wheel, new panels, new um, gauges. Um, trolling motor, a uh, new spray in floor, but I just go ahead and uh, walk around and show you what I've done to it. Uh, put a new jack on it, new rollers under here, uh, new Minkota Maxim, 80 pound thrust, 24 volt. Uh, pulls the boat around really good, uh, not bad squeaker. It um, it's really good. I mean, it doesn't squeak at all really, but it shouldn't. Um, here, go back through here. It's a Mercury Optimax 200, 2002 model, and the boat it's a 1993 model, and it's got a five and a half inch jack plate, 26 pitch prop, Tempus Plus, and it performed really good when I took it to the river, and the boat ran really good. It ran 72. But it's still got a little bit of speed left in it, but not much, but just a couple more miles an hour. But I was just taking it pretty easy the first time out. Didn't want to really uh, let it really loose. But um, it's got a big platform up here. And especially for the model of it, it was pretty big back in them days. Um, but I'm one day possibly I'm probably going to put a flipping deck right here. To fill up this cavity, I uh, just get a little bit more room up there. But uh, here is my rod locker. It can hold over eight and a half foot rods, and holds all my combos really well. Um, I could put ten more rods in there if I wanted to, but I don't have enough money to put that many combos in. So um. But it holds my five or six really good. Here is uh, just a whatever box. I think it was made for kind of like a trash or a day box. But I keep a little bit of food in there, some ropes. Just some little odds and ends. Right here is what I call my day box. So um, this would be like a cooler. It's got a drain in it. But right here, I throw my old baits in, and I got my dies, my spy kit, my JJ's Magic, a uh, live well treatment, some pliers, uh, some bait attractant, some real magic. And right here, I got some of my plastics that I might be using. It's really easy to access on um, through here, but everything works perfect right here. I mean, it's just set up perfect. With this little step up right there, it's just, couldn't ask for anything better. I'm really happy with that. Right here, I've got all my tackle. I got my hard baits and stuff. Uh, terminal tackle right here. Got some plastics in the box too. Spinner baits, buzz baits, jigs back in there. Got my plastic, I got two Ziploc bags full and a, one of these little containers. If um, any of y'all haven't seen this, um, it's really easy and keeps your tackle really good and it seals it pretty good to keep the moisture out of it. Uh, but I just keep like, here's my frogs, here's some lizards, and here's my uh, crawls. Just what I would use. Just got different colors and different sizes in there. But it's really easy to keep it organized and get to it quick. Right here is a whatever box. It's really big. You can't hold a rod in there. It's only like four foot long. But you can hold a bunch of stuff. Right here, I have uh, a little collapsible co cooler, which is pretty big. Um, I got my tripod in there. Got my lure retriever right there. Lights. Screwdrivers, pliers, line, and a jacket. Uh, 
my right here I just got my um, tire just in case something happens which I hope I don't ever have to and right here I sprayed in bed liner um, it's called Durabake uh, D-U-R-A-B-A-K dot com uh, I really really like this stuff right now you can see it's dirty I haven't cleaned it up yet but all you do is just wash it out with a water hose or you can even pressure wash it uh, it's really simple it was really easy to do I sprayed it in instead of rolling it in uh, I was really really easy doing it that like that so right here at the console uh, you can fit some stuff in that compartment it goes all the way up to there um, but I'm gonna put me a hot foot and a blinker style trim just uh, for safety to keep both hands on the wheels while I'm controlling the boat uh, you can see it's a gauge cluster I put all these gauges in myself all new panels steering wheel my uh, key harness and my um, bass cat the 18 uh, pad panel you guess you could say push button and under here I have it a master switch so you don't run down your battery but you got your lights your your horn your build fuel recirc and aerator all in that one uh, panel and it's really really nice up here I got my hummingbird 788 the down imaging model with the GPS uh, it works really good I put new controls in and um, new wire and everything under there still got to do a little stuff with it I just took the boat out to the river uh, last week for the first time performed perfect and these gauges I'm just going to show you I fished for three days and I burned it's probably going to have to wait for it I burned 13.6 gallons of fuel in three days of fishing so uh, that's really good especially for the size of boat and bigger motor the Optimax has really done great but let's see let's go ahead and move on got my net right here I usually just put it in this hole right here it works perfect doesn't move under here got life jacket under that one and some more life jackets and tiles and such live wells huge live wells you can see I gotta put that in um, I gotta get me some some more bolts right here in the live well and I'll just show you how big it is All right you see how long my arm is it's probably a foot and a half or more alright see my elbow and it goes back another eight inches and then it goes up down to my elbow down there this is live where I would probably say it's 15 gallons worth at least just one side so that's probably 30 gallon live well I'm not exactly sure but it's really big I know that back here got my fuel tank and two batteries the trolling motor batteries and over here I got my other fuel tank and another battery cranking battery oil reservoir um, and boat performed perfect with the motor and everything especially for the first time out see I did everything I mounted the motor controls everything only thing I had help with was wiring my dad helped me wire the um, like the, my lights and bilge and pump and that sort of stuff everything else I did myself but I got another video I have before I started working on it and uh, I posted it up soon after I put post this one up so it should be within the same day of this one but you see the difference in the carpet and motor and everything 
and in that video I wasn't really sure what I was going to do because I was six months ago but right now it's finished and done with so but really happy with it over and overall and I finally got me a a big boat that I've always wanted now I've probably got 200 man hours in it from scraping the old carpet off and doing the, redoing the gel coat but it was I had fun with it and um, I can always just talk about how how I did the boat and all it's always something to talk about and uh, that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching if you got any comments or anything y'all want to ask you can send me a message or you can comment below and thanks for watching and we'll see you on the water see you guys